Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are talking about the Cash King Baitcaster, the Mega Jaws. Sorry for the ugly blue collar hands, but I just got out of work. But we're going to go over this Mega Jaws today and tell you some features and then maybe go do some fishing with it. So first of up, uh, the Mega Jaws. It got its name. They pretty much built this reel around the name. They, they gave it the, the cool teeth design. They gave it some gills. And uh, it came out being super strong and durable. So they were like, we're going to name it the Mega Jaws because it's a super strong reel. So let's get into some of the features. First feature that caught my eye in design is the cone shaped line guide. If you can see this line guide's big in the back and then it's small in the front. So what that does is it helps your castability. It makes it so uh, you don't get as many backlashes and that, that line doesn't tornado kind of through there. It, it goes through a lot smoother and you can get a lot further cast out of that design. So I'm looking forward to putting that to the test. Uh, another good feature for, especially for all you tournament fishermen out there, or anyone that does a lot of fishing with multiple reels, is they have these color coded to the gear ratio. And the gear ratios will go from the highest speed to the lowest. The highest is the red reel, which is a 9.1 to one gear ratio. The black one, which I have here, is a 7.2 to one gear ratio. And that's kind of my favorite because that's like in between, easy to slow down, easy to speed up. The blue one has a 6 to 5 to 1 gear ratio. And the white has a 5.4 to 1 gear ratio. Now I could be wrong I don't on the white one. It could be a little bit of a, a grayish color I think. And it does have 11 plus one stainless steel shielded ball bearings. It has a carbon fiber drag with a uh, multiple disc and it can have a hold up to 17.6 pounds of drag, which is plenty for bait for bass fishing like I like to do. It has a CNC aluminum spool Has some uh, it has the rubber cork grip handles, which are very nice. It's got the, the star drag and it clicks. And a lot of you guys like the clicking of the tension knob, so it clicks and it's micro adjustment, so it clicks a lot and it feels really nice. It's got this uh, clean out port, if you guys can see that right there. It uh you can add oil before you go fishing is always good or after but when you hit it with some fresh water at home after you're fit done fishing it'll drain out this you just set it up and it'll drain out that port now you hit this trigger and you can turn it down and pull it out and we can look at the the magnetic drag system it has the eight magnetic drags with this spool and some and the micro adjustments on the side I usually start with it all the way up and then back it off a couple clicks maybe when I start when the start fishing and then I start the drag all the way tight or the tension knob all the way tight and then back it off now the drag I will start loose I always want to leave it loose and never t tension on that drag so it doesn't wear it out faster than the use of the reel over time just sitting in your garage if you keep that tight it'll wear the drag out so I always leave it loose and then I'll tighten it when I get to my fishing spot and then I'll pull my line to see if that's about how I like it so it's a well-built reel but let's get to fishing and see if uh, how we like this thing
feel like turned sideways looking at this thing. Like on my side, floating. Got him. Yeah. Mm. I wanna drive too. Good, good wear out on this this drag of this new reel. Heck yeah. And come down here so I can grab them good. I think he's actually bigger than two pounds, about two and a half. Heck yeah, fellas. That's a good one. No, he's three. Three pounds, easy. easy. Let me go get a picture. Let's release him. I'm going to pull him right back on the bed that he came from. Go. See you later, buddy. Pink worm is doing the trick and this new mega jaws that i just picked up the drag is awesome everything's been awesome the casting i've casted like a lot today and another day that i fished with this thing so this is the second day fishing with this thing and it is performing great and like these are they're already back on the bed they don't even care but i'm gonna go try to catch another bigger one now that i caught that big one and see what we can do heck yeah Got two on there now. Oh, oh. oh, it was in his mouth. I don't even know it. I hate not being able to see my lure bed fishing. Well, this is a pretty good one. I'm gonna give you a little show over here. It wasn't the big one that was on the bed though. Yeah, I'll give you the show. You can crank it down and let him pull some drag. Crank her back up. All right, let's see if we can get him up here. Get him, get him in the boat. Oh man, this is a big. Yeah, there we go. Fatty, probably about two pounds, two and a half pounds. Pretty chunky though. That's awesome. What's up everybody? I'm back at the truck. Uh, I was out here for a few good hours right in the middle of the heat of the day. And uh, surprised I got two good ones. Uh, one broke one well three if you count the one that got off right at the bank but so i got two good ones on that pink worm just testing out that mega jaws on drag and this is like the perfect season to really test a reel out for if you can bed fish or if there are bass responding near you it's the perfect time because it it's all about the hook set on that one it's all about the drag like i mean you can really test a reel out and that's what I did today and the reel I'm gonna give it two thumbs up reels good to go guys head over to castking.com and get you one today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe we'll see you next time guys and remember get out and fish